Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new variant of the BF Weevil, the Evil Weevil. Yes, if you already own or if you purchase brand new the BF Weevil, you can now take it to Benny's and convert it into the Evil Weevil, all right? It's pretty cool. Right now, the Weevil is on sale for 391500 but you can customize it at Benny's, and you can do a conversion for $931,000, okay? Now, in this video, I'm not only going to be going over the customization, which we see right now, I'm also going to be covering the performance, top speed, straight line, and around a track, and then I'm going to recommend whether or not I think you guys should spend the money and make this conversion. Should you even buy the Weevil? And then should you actually make the conversion in Benny's? Because it is a lot. Let's, let's be clear. It's definitely, it's going to be over a million dollars for the vehicle and the conversion. Almost a million for the conversion alone. And then you have the upgrades and customization. And speaking of customization, as you can see with the actual Benny's variant, and the upgrade, you do have a lot of customization, and that's a good thing because, as I always say, I have a rule of thumb. If a vehicle's gonna cost you a million dollars or more, that price needs to be justified by having a good amount of customization. That way you can make the vehicle unique. That way it's a good chance you won't see the same one on the road out there in GTA over and over and over again. When a vehicle has lackluster customization, it just doesn't make it any fun. It really doesn't. It doesn't justify that price. And as you see right here, the Weevil actually has customization that we've never seen before. It's got steering wheel options like the rat rod. It's got the barrel seats. It's got things that we just haven't seen before on vehicles. And I appreciate that. I think that it's important to have that kind of customization because, again, not only does it justify the price, but it makes the vehicle unique to the actual owner. All right, as you see here, going through the interior, the lights... The liveries are really nice as well, too. You've got 17 different liveries that you can go between, and that's pretty cool. In addition, it's a rat rod, and I like how Rockstar has several different rat rod variants of vehicles in the game. Now, I will go ahead and just kind of give you some info and some foreshadowing now. The rat rod you know, conversion style does affect the performance of the vehicle, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But as you see here, we've got plenty of different type of mirrors you can go with. I mean, again, things that we just haven't seen on any vehicle. With these ornaments, the, the placement on the hood, that's really cool. I like that. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, that's the kind of stuff that we're looking for, especially in a game that is, you know, almost 10 years old. You want to see some new fresh stuff come out, and you do get that with the Weevil. Now, there may be other vehicles that have similar customization options like that, uh, and that's good too, but it's few and far between. I mean, look at all the surfboard options that we have. That's pretty cool as well. I appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah, definitely nice to have. Uh, going through with the skirt options as well, you got plenty of those. On the sunstrip options, we've got some cool things that we haven't seen before or that are at the very least very unique and original. Uh, you got several different spoilers, and the spoilers will affect the handling, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, then you have the suspension. It does camper out the tires, which I appreciate that. Nothing wrong with that at all. And of course, you can you know, customize your wheels the way you want to, your ground lights, your window tint, all that good stuff. So I went with the actual complete rat rod look. And the conversion turns the Weevil from a compact into a muscle car. So you can do the wheelies with it. It's in the muscle class, which is really nice. Uh, that's what it looks like with the doors opened up. It is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. And again, that does have an effect on the performance. Talking about the performance, let's go ahead and get into it. In the muscle class, at a top speed straight line, this thing moves. It's not the fastest in the muscle class, but it's definitely up there. It's very fast, very quick, and yes, there is a speed glitch that you can do. It's very similar to what you could do with the rat truck. I'm just going to test the normal performance. I'll let you guys check out the, uh, the straight line speed glitch. But around a track, listen, I'm, I'm going to be very honest. The Evil Weevil is very fun to drive. It is actually a really fun challenge because it is a rat rod. Because the tires are smaller in the front and of the, because of the camber and the wheelbase, it does make the vehicle feel like it has a little bit of understeer. But their rear wheel drive does want to kick out a little bit as well. So it makes the Weevil a fun challenge. I absolutely 100% recommend that you make the purchase on this vehicle. It's worth it. It's very fast straight line. It's very fun to drive around a track. Is it going to be top competitive around a track? Maybe not. 
but if you have vehicles that are similar or just racing with the weevils alone it's going to be a lot of fun it's a good challenge and that packaged together with some great customization absolutely this is a must-have vehicle it's good on performance and it will be a great addition uh, to your collection and it's a lot of fun to drive around the city it's got good acceleration it's just really cool so absolutely thumbs up recommend it i'm you know very pleased with this vehicle we've had to wait so long and the drip fed uh content with this dlc and i think this is definitely a fun car and a great addition all right if you guys got any questions leave them in the comments down below let me know what you think about the evil weevil have you purchased it do you like it have you made the conversion what do you guys think all right Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel for the Ills Reels content and the game. Smash, I mean, so smash that like button. See you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.